Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, just wanted to jump on here real quick, do a quick reading for you guys. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. I like to interact with every single one of you guys. Um, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. You'll find all the information there. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. What's the current energy spirit for Aqua? Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not make the story fit in. Okay, if it's not your story, it's not your story. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Current energy spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You guys could be seeing the number 444 a lot. Okay, that is talking about stability. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm starting this reading at 444 in my time. So I do record it and then I put it up. So, and today is 411. So you might be getting some information or something like that. Um, in reference to stability, okay, emotional stability in reference to something that has to do with security as well, okay. Maybe some good news. Let's see. What is in the current energy for Aquarius? We got the everything is fine card. <laughs> so I'm here talking about good news and then we got the 10 of swords. But in this deck, there's another 10 of swords. Um, it's trying to tell you, be patient here. Everything is fine. You're already so used to the hurt. You're so used to being fucked over and betrayed, backstabbed, whatever the case may be. All right, you know that now you're going into a new cycle. All right, this is necessary for you to enter a new cycle and whatever it is that you want in life, you know that you want to get that, you know? What's the blockage here? In other words, you know what you're looking for, okay? So you got the two of pentacles. You have a lot on your plate right now. You could be juggling, what should I do? What should I stay? Should I go? Should I give this another chance? Should I not? Okay, so with this two of pentacles, this is talking about somebody juggling. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that could have um juggled you but here with this two of pentacles i see money coming in money coming out all right everything's fine what is in the blockage i mean i'm sorry what is in the foundation for aqua sun moon rising and venus you got the temperance card so you're bringing balance and harmony into a situation all right sagittarius energy so you got one foot in, one foot out here. You got one foot in the earth, one foot in the water. So bringing balance, bringing harmony, bringing things into fruition. Okay, having patience. Okay, so patience is virtue here. What is in the recent past? The recent past, you have the six of pentacles. So an equal give and take. Okay, something about somebody could, could have given you some sort of gift or something like that. All right, that's generosity. Maybe you're the one giving all these gifts. Okay, maybe you're in a time right now where you could help other people. Okay, so um, somebody's definitely coming in for help or you could be helping them. All right, we'll clarify that. What is on your subconscious? What are you guys thinking about? All right, the tower, Scorpio energy, all right, that... Something has to come to an end, right? Something sudden might be coming in. You could feel something kind of like, you know, brewing, but you don't know exactly what that is, okay? So it's funny because during my meditation, I saw a pressure cooker um, and I'm like, something's boiling, right? So it has to pop at one point or another. So something's definitely gonna come into like some something hidden might come out to light or something like that. There's gonna be one big boom. Okay, so I don't know what that means, but that's for some of you. What is in the near future? Y'all be careful with pressure cookers, okay? Maybe that's what you need to be careful with. You know, those shits pop. All right, so that's for somebody. All right, Four of Swords. Yeah, you're doing a lot of healing. All right, so in the near future, you're still healing. All right, so Four of Swords talks about retreating too. Maybe you're going on a vacation. You know that you need a vacation. It's lingering. It's kind of like, you know, you're at the point where it's about that time, you know, to go on vacation and kind of like get away. All right, what's hidden? You have the death card. Something is definitely ending for you. 
something is definitely ending so that a new beginning starts all right you have a lot of scorpio in this reading we're going to clarify that with the death card here you're going through a transformation so this is actually needed this tower moment might not be such a bad thing you could be kind of like in a it's in your subconscious so you could be in a, in a state where you're like fuck everything i'm gonna let everything just kind of like whatever happens happens okay and i'm moving on with my life and you're transforming here and it's hidden so i don't think that this tower is a bad tower it's just a realization for you um what's in your energy i mean what's in your environment You got the Nine of Wands, okay? The Wounded Warrior here. You have these walls that are built that it's very hard for you to bring down. Some of you have tried to bring these walls down, but at the same time, you've been hurt over and over and over again that it's very hard for you to do that. You could also be protecting yourself, you know? So in your environment with that Nine of Wands, you guys, some of you could be like building a house, okay? So congratulations. Or building something from the ground up. What is under hopes and fears? Also, with that nine of wands, <laughs> you guys are resilient. You guys are not stopping whatever it is that you're doing. You guys are not giving up. Whereas before, at some time, you could have thought of this like being a tower moment. Just fuck everything. I'm not going to. And you are getting rewarded for not giving up here. Okay. And for keeping strong. All right, especially with this um, temperance in the bottom and the in the foundation. This could be an earth angel, okay, that's watching over you. So, what is um, under hopes and fears? Hopes and fears, you have the sun. Something's getting exposed here, okay? But yeah, you're definitely very happy. Some of you could be fear fearing that you're getting pregnant or some, or that you're pregnant or something like that. If some of you have found out that you're pregnant, um, that could be some sort of fear, all right? For others, you guys are hoping to get pregnant. But let's see, what's the outcome? What is the outcome? And for those that cannot get pregnant, all right? The nine, the sun talks about being happy, very uh, complete joy, some sort of satisfaction in your life, okay? So. You got in your outcome the seven of cups with the nine of cups. You want to have your cake and eat it too. You have a lot of options right now. So that's kind of like don't take advantage or don't fall into temptation. All right. The nine of cups is almost like kind of like selfish, but your wishes are being fulfilled at this time. And this is going to come in a cloud. So for some of you, like the energy that I'm picking up here is like you could have been somebody who just became famous or something like that. So you're going to have a lot of ideas, a lot of people coming in and and trying to like confuse you okay a lot of like power you have power you got money you got greed you got a tornado here you got a snake you have to be careful who you trust and who's in your inner circle okay because with that seven of cups there's a lot of illusions that you could be like in at this time all right for some of you you guys have to quit drinking so much there's a lot of cups there or overindulging because the nine of cups is talking about overindulgence too so you could be overindulging in something. And then for some of you, I'm also picking up here that you don't stop thinking about a certain thing, okay? And it's driving you crazy, all right? It's an illusion. You got to let it go. That's for some of you. Okay, so let's start clarifying. Let's see what we got. Let's see. I'm going to keep continuing with this deck. So the everything is fine card. What is this? What is this? Clarify the everything is fine. Yeah, you are. You guys are about to be in the public eye or do something. It's almost like after all this betrayal that you went through, everything is definitely fine. You're coming out victorious. Okay, you're in the public eye here. You have a lot of fans. You have a lot of people rooting for you. You have a lot of support. Okay, with the Six of Wands. So congratulations. All right, so let's move this back over here. Give me one more. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. What is... Um, the everything is fine with the Six of Wands. Alright, yeah. I feel like you've been patiently the moon. 
you've been illuminated okay you could have been manifesting with the moon all right but i feel like you've been patiently waiting all right you're starting to see the fruits of your labor so i'm believing that this this is not going to be so much of a relationship reading it's more of like ambition what you guys got going on all right so seven of pentacles be patient you're starting to see the fruits of your labor 67 could be significant 76 could be significant you got seven six seven okay um 77 so you guys could be seeing a lot of synchronicities you guys are, you guys have a lot of options and you guys are definitely in luck and you're a point you're in the point right now where you're about to see the fruits of your labor okay and the six of wands is everybody's going to see you doing that as well so what is this two of pentacles under the blockage all right so don't take too much and under your you know the don't be taking too much that you cannot handle okay because with the two of pentacles you have a lot you're trying to balance a lot of shit going on okay but now I'm seeing that is a three of swords. Let's see. You're kind of heartbroken because of something. Was this two of pentacles with a three of swords? With the nine of pentacles. For some of you, you guys are kind of like in a state where you're emotionally unbalanced. You feel heartbroken, okay, because you are kind of tired of being alone. Okay, so... Or you fear being alone or something like that. This is what I'm getting, okay, with this Two of Pentacles under the blockage with the Three of Swords. Because I feel like you keep on wanting to go back to the past, okay, because that's the only thing that you know, all right? But with the Nine of Pentacles showing up there, you're single, all right? So you're alone in this. Let's see. You could be kind of like feeding your own depression. That's what I'm trying to say here. With this Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords, with the Two of Pentacles, you keep you keep on like thinking back and forth. You have a lot on your plate. And then all of a sudden, this breakup comes back in. And it creeps in. And you're like, what the fuck? Virgo energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, yeah, let that shit go. All right, you keep juggling this shit. All right, it's keeping you off balance. You need to balance yourself. When it comes to the Three of Swords, three is an on number. You can't balance three nine again 39 could be significant some of you could be 39 what is um the temperance in the foundation what is the temperance in the foundation ace of swords yeah so this is definitely the truth this is definitely an earth angel okay somebody is coming in all of a sudden your intuition's on point okay you had some sort of aha moment all right, you had to sit back. You had to kind of like pace, pace yourself, um, have patience in whatever it is that you were doing. Give me one second, guys. Before somebody calls, I already feel it. Do not disturb. All right, so you got this coming out. There, there's some sort of truth, some sort of clarity that you gained. Okay, for some of you, you're you could be this earth angel. All right, you get these downloads. All right, that's the truth. For some of you, you've been patiently waiting for someone to call you with some sort of truth, okay? That somebody could be, like, concealing some sort of truth. At this point, you already know the truth. Why? And that could be the reason why you keep going back and forth with this because you never got closure. Okay, that's for some of you. This person could have ghosted you or something like that. All right, so... What is the six of pentacles in the recent past? Six of pentacles. So with the six of pentacles, you have the two of wands. So for some of you, you guys could have wanted like a trip or something like that. Okay, so um, with the two of wands, somebody's definitely planning to go at a distance. Okay, somebody could be gifting you a, um, a trip of some sort. It's almost like this is going to be an equal give and take as well. Okay, so maybe you're going with a friend. All right, two people could be going on this trip. What is the two of wands with the six of um, pentacles? For some of you, your guys, you guys could be gifting that to somebody and saying, hey, I'm going to go on this trip because I really I'm exhausted, you know, and I want to go ahead and and just kind of get out, you know, and hey, you want to come with me? I'll pay half of the trip or something like that, you know? um two of wands also that could be somebody's at a distance from you 
somebody could be you could be expecting a gift in the mail or something like that all right that's not for all of you but that's for some of you you could be like waiting on a package to come in was this two of wands two of wands with the hermit and then the three of cups for some of you you guys are waiting in the mail for some sort of like results okay um that's for some of you the Three of Cups, you got Virgo energy, then you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, the Hermit, all right, you guys could have been isolating yourself too much, and it's almost like it's time for you to go out, all right, get out of this isolation that you've been in, all right, and go have a couple of drinks, whatever, go out with friends, you know, do something, because you could be always at home, some of you are definitely loners, you're in isolation, and you feel comfortable that way, some of you like that shit, I know I do. So I do like to be alone. Like, I like it. I like my alone time, you know. Um, for others of you, with this two of wands and then the hermit, you guys could be wanting to go on a trip somewhere to have like a, a spiritual experience. Like, let's say, for example... I don't know. I'm picking up, like, somebody here wants to go to Peru or something like that to try ayahuasca. You know, have, like, a spiritual experience or something like that or shrooms or something like that with that two of wands showing up there in that hermit. You guys are wanting to go on a trip or something like that or somebody could be at a distance or maybe that's what you're wanting to do and that's what this trip is all going to be about, okay, or something like that, trying to have some sort of an awakening. If not, you guys should definitely try to do that. that sounds fun. <laughs> but, anywho. What's the tower? What is the tower on your mind? The tower on your mind. Let's see. All right, the strength card. So, yeah, you're definitely moving on. You have the strength. You have the courage to move on. Okay, this is Leo energy. This is a lot of pride. For some of you, there's definitely... Uh, Something had to crumble down and it had to do with pride and eagle. Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo energy, Scorpio energy. What is this tower with the strength card? Three of Pentacles came out again. Yeah, so definitely collaborating with other people or working or networking with other people. Okay, somebody could be an artist here. Somebody could be teaching this artist, or you could be um, teaching somebody. For some of you, I don't know why I'm picking up. Somebody does tattoos, and they have an apprentice, okay, that's kind of like learning how to do them as well. All right, that's for some of you. And then the tower is there, so you feel like maybe this person is not going to fit it, you know, is not going to be able to do this or something like that. What is the tower with the strength card and the three of pentacles? And then the King of Swords. Yeah, you could be this person's boss or something like that. You're definitely saying something, okay, with this King of Swords. You're definitely very strategic and very smart. You could be causing some sort of chaos in somebody else's life by something that you're saying. King of Swords, Aquarius Energy. Okay, you have three butterflies, so you keep on transforming and you keep on saying whatever it is that you want to say. It doesn't fucking matter. That's why freedom of speech exists. So, for some of you, there could be somebody that's kind of like bullying you or something like that. I'm also picking up. And the King of Swords cuts that shit. You go straight for the jugular. So you're just waiting for this moment to happen. And all of a sudden, you're going to cut something off or you're going to cut people off left and right. What is the Four of Swords in the near future? The fool, yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. You li you you probably live in the city and you're leaving the city. You could go to the mountains, okay, or something like that. Um, could be significant. You're definitely going on a retreat, all right, because the four swords is definitely saying you need to go ahead and take a break, all right. Slow the fuck down. Take a break. Go somewhere, all right. Take that leap of faith into something that's unknown. Fear is uh, success is in the other side of fear. Okay, what's this? And this is your energy. The fool is Aquarius, so that's you. With that Four of Swords, yeah, you're definitely going through the healing process, and now it's time for you to venture out into something else, but maybe what you're trying to venture out to is not where you are, 
You know, you have to go somewhere else to to see this or to experience this. This could be like something kind of reckless at the same time, but let's say skydiving, okay, or or taking a leap of faith and going to to another country or something like that. You know, something like that along those lines where you could see something that's a little different. Okay, like for example, you want to go see buddhas or something like that so you go where there's buddhas all right so thailand or something like that whatever anyway death card is under hidden so you're going through some sort of transformation or something is definitely ending what is the death card what is the death card all right the ace of wands <laughs> and then the ten of pentacles Death card, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Some of you could be having, like, um, you guys could be doing, like, I know this is going to be a little vulgar, but I got to say it, semen retention, okay? Some of you could be doing that. Um, For some of you, you're going through a definite transformation, like, I don't know why I'm picking up, like, somebody... This is not for everybody, okay? But somebody's definitely um, becoming or becoming a girl, okay? Or something like that. And it's probably causing some sort of, like, problem with your family here. Okay, that's for someone here that needed to hear that. Okay, so... There's also a transformation when it comes to a new passion and beginning for you. Okay, you're going from an Ace of Wands. This is like a new beginning. This is like something that you're very passionate about. Whatever it is that you do, you do. And it has to do with your ancestors, all right, with the Death card, um, with spirits. Okay, for some of you, you guys could definitely be very spiritual at this time. Okay, but with this Ace of Wands, let's see. What's the Ace of Wands? I feel like you guys are building legacy wealth and you started with this wand and now you're up to here. Okay, but typically... You don't normally do that by yourself. You need some sort of help. But it's almost like the help that you're getting is from your ancestors, those that have passed over. Okay, that's for some of you. All right, for some of you, there's somebody who passed away and is leaving an inheritance, and that's what's hidden. Okay, but it's going to get you to be able to do something. Hmm. The light just flickered, so that's my confirmation. Eight of Swords, yeah, somebody's definitely trapped in a mental prison and a mental jail, right? This doesn't have to be, like, necessarily death, death. I just kind of, I like to keep the readings kind of light, okay? So, with the Death card, it means the transformation. With the Ten of Pentacles, that means you're building legacy wealth. You have, you have money coming in, okay? With the Ace of Wands, you're doing something that you're very passionate about. What's the Ace of Wands? <laughs> I can't leave it like that. They're like telling me to continue. Yeah, King of Pentacles. You're definitely, this could be a father figure. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. <clears throat> this could be you bossing up. You're very reliable. You're very resourceful. Okay, somebody could be leaving something to you. Doesn't necessarily have to be a family member that passes away. It could be somebody that you met at one point. Taurus energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Scorpio. But anyway, let's move on. What about the King of Pentacles? <laughs> the Emperor. Okay, yeah, you. I feel like you guys are bossing up. Okay, you are definitely uh, respected. You're in a, in a state of leadership right now. Okay, this is like you embodying all the, the kings of pentacles. Okay, very resourceful, very reliable. Okay, a father figure of some sort. You guys like children, all right? So you guys are definitely like bossing up. You have a lot of, um, a lot of like projects, a lot of things that could come into fruition, all right? But you're definitely, people are going to be reporting to you. That's the transformation that's happening, okay? For some of you, you guys could come into a lot of money. All of a sudden. 
But, let's see. Nine of Wands in, in your environment. Okay, the Wounded Warrior, you build these walls. All right, for some of you, you guys are getting into, like, CrossFit or some shit like that. All right, you got the Knight of Swords with the Nine of Wands. Somebody could be contacting you with some sort of hasty information. But your walls are built. Okay, so you could have blocked this person. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Knight of Swords also talks about do not act in your impulse. Okay, this is somebody who's very impulsive. So... Take your time, think things through, okay, because I have, like, with this one wearing the, you know, the little boxing, whatever the fuck that's called, those gloves, all right, and then the Knight of Swords, somebody could be getting into a fight because of some sort of impulsivity, be careful driving, okay, because he could be driving, and somebody could be military and have some sort of, like, something, okay, so be careful, guys, all right, Nine of Wands, Clarify the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Swords. Two of Swords, yeah. There's a decision that needs to be made. Okay. You're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold. See things for what they truly are. Make a decision. You could put that sword down, but this has to do with thoughts. This also has to do with your heart chakra being blocked. You're not forgiving um, somebody here. And that's the reason why you're not letting or you cannot let anybody in, okay, when it comes to that. And everybody that's coming in is almost like you could think it's in your environment. You could be, like, thinking, damn, they're too fast. Like, mm, slow down or something like that. Um, but everybody's very impulsive, okay? So it's, like, making you even, pro like, basically close your heart to love, Okay. And for some of you, if you guys have blocked this person, you have a decision to make. You could unblock them. They're probably going to be calling, all right, because I do feel like something's coming back. Um, but whatever it is, it's almost going to be like hasty communication again. So what's the sun? The sun talks about something being exposed. Yeah, you're in growth, expansion, prosperity. Okay, this is talking about also like land, looking at land, buying land. All right, you're going to be very happy here. What's the three of wands, son? All right, with the page of pentacles. And the reverse. For some of you, I feel like you guys maybe don't work that much, and that pisses somebody off. <laughs> All right. Like, some of you could do, like, certain things, but that pisses somebody off because you don't really work much. And you still make the money. And you're happy. And that's just pissing this person off. So keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations, guys. You're definitely, if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. All right. And this is getting exposed, whatever this is. What is the Nine of Cups in your outcome? The Nine of Cups in your outcome. All right. Two of Cups, okay. I feel like, what's the Two of Cups in the reverse with the Nine of Cups? What's Two of Cups in the reverse with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords? Yeah, you've been backstabbed, betrayed so many times <laughs> that you're not letting, you're not going to give this a try, okay, or you're not letting love in. You're alone by yourself right here, okay? You're okay by yourself. Legs are crossed, meaning nothing's coming in, nothing's coming out, all right? You have your cake and eat it too. You're sitting around a bunch of cups, okay? So this does have to do with, like, you feeling yourself, okay? So this is you and your environment. You don't want to be with anybody. With the two of cups in the reverse, you're kind of just like, it's okay. Not a lot of people come in that are loyal, so why would I even entertain it? Because this talks about this loyalty and this harmony. Okay, so a lot of people that you have maybe probably even talked to or something like that with the Page of Pentacles, maybe just kind of like communicated with, all right, you realize they're not loyal. Why would I do that? To end up in the Ten of Swords again after that's what you started with when everything was fine? Nah. So you're definitely seeing things from a different perspective. Anything else, Spirit? All right, yeah. Keep on working on whatever it is that you're working on, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. 
Eight of Pentacles talks about also um, you're very skillful at what you do. You're very crafty. Okay, for some of you, you guys could work from home. For some of you, you guys are like working from home. You have double jobs or something like that or two jobs. I feel like if you have two jobs, you're making ends meet and you're getting off a lot of things off the ground, but I feel like you're going to be building something in the, if you have some sort of like bright idea while you're doing that, okay, and all of a sudden, poof, light bulb, all right, and you can make it your own business, all right, do that, okay, because you're sitting here making money for other people, you shouldn't do that, you should make it your own business, um, that's for someone, and... What I feel like you also enjoy what you do with the moon showing up. Yeah, it's connected to your subconscious. Okay, it's something that you've always wanted to do for some of you. All right, you could be dealing with a cancer with the moon. What's the moon? Something hidden comes to light. Be careful. All right, so in this deck, these two people went out in the middle of the woods, you know, whatever. And they started howling to the moon. They put these masks on, okay? So it's kind of like they're conjuring something up, right? So somebody's definitely could be playing with magic or playing with, like, I don't want to say, like, Ouija board, but, hey, if that's if the shoe fits, wear it. Fit, um, wear it. So <laughs> um, somebody could be conjuring up something, okay? Because these two are in the path to darkness, all right? So just letting you know, and this does have to do with your subconscious, so maybe you have some sort of, like, bad thoughts that could be coming in. Okay, cleanse yourself from those bad thoughts and kind of like go where where fruition is, where nurturing is, okay? This with the moon, it also says um, in that deck, in this deck, when I read it, it says that they don't know what they're doing, okay? So they could be like howling and they don't realize that by howling, you're calling negative energy, okay? It's the same thing as by clapping, you clap away bad energy or something like that, all right? For some of you, you guys have to wear like what are those called, bangles or something like that, to make noise, okay, so that you could remove bad juju, okay, from your energy, all right, so get yourself some bangles or something like that, like metal bangles, you can get that shit on Amazon, or if you guys are, like, bougie and want the real shit, go for it, all right, but yeah, it's something that you could be wearing to protect yourself from any evil entity, all right, or protecting yourself whenever you're calling or doing whatever it is that you're doing, Okay, because you guys could be manifesting, but sometimes you might not know how to manifest, and you manifest the wrong things. Okay, that's for someone here. Because I feel like there's somebody here that I'm talking to that's playing with magic and doesn't know what they're doing. And it's kind of like, it's training worse for them. So, you got the King of Wands, yeah. So they get really mad, alright? King of Wands, this is a person, he's a warlock. It's a guy who I'm talking to here, so... um. They're conjuring up something wrong. You're, you're conjuring up something off. The devil. All right? So be careful what you're trying to manifest. You got to play on words or something like that. So if you're like, I wish this person dies in a ditch somewhere, it might happen. So you're going to feel guilty for the rest of your life or something like that. There's something here that somebody's conjuring up that's not correct. Or you're doing something, it could be lighting a candle or something like that, that has more to do with being tied down and bonded, all right, to the devil, to, like, bad energy than you do to good energy, to the sun energy, all right? So whatever this is, both of this, the sun and the moon, both illuminate the darkness. So the darkness, you got to get rid of it, all right? That's for someone here. I don't know who you are. 3333 33 on the timer. Anything else? Yeah, the chariot. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be victorious. You guys are moving away, okay? Some of you are moving somewhere different. Some of you are buying a different car, okay, with the chariot. The chariot is linked to leaving the city here with uh, victory. So you're going to be victorious. You got equal balance, all right? Remember, for good to exist, bad has to exist. For bad to exist, good has to exist. Okay, so there's a balance, yin and yang. Okay, so the moon is the same shit, yin and yang. Everything needs a balance. There's two people here. Everything needs to be balanced and in harmony. So, what's the chariot? Queen of Swords. That's your energy, too. 
Queen of Swords. You're like, come at me. I'm going to cut you. All right. So this is that transformation that you could be going through. All right. For some of you, you're definitely disconnecting your emotions from your logic. Your mind comes first. All right. So if something doesn't sound very good to you or if something sounds kind of fishy to you or this people that are coming in, because you see this could be same sex connection that I'm talking to now. Um, an Aries Leo Sag, this person right here, she's like, come at me. All right. But when you come at me, don't come at me with all this lusty energy, this feisty communication or something like that, you know, because I have my sword up. So I'm going to tell you the truth. All right. So there's some sort of truth that's coming into to fruition here. All right. It could be an Aries Leo Sag that you're talking about. You're talking to. All right. Five of Pentacles, somebody who left you out in the cold. All right. That could be for somebody. Yes, definitely protect yourself. Okay, with the Seven of Wands. All right, you're definitely protecting yourself or you're setting healthy boundaries and you're moving into calmer waters. Okay, definitely, for some of you, you guys are definitely moving somewhere. Or you guys could be like taking, if you guys haven't seen the movie Eat, Pray, Love, watch it. All right, one of my favorite movies. All right, there's a thing there. Um, or maybe even YouTube, Letter to David. It's when Julia Roberts writes a letter to David and she talks about ruins, how we have to go through ruins. It also, um, ruins is after all this chaos and stuff like that, ruins is still necessary in life. You have to be ruined so that you can learn from it and be wiser from it. You have karmic lessons that you have to learn. You're here for a reason, so you have to learn these things. So even under so much chaos and so much disaster, those ruins remain, okay? There's still something that remains there. And it could be an ex-love or it could be an ex-something that happened when it stems from your childhood or something like that. This, this lady, for some of you that haven't seen it, the lady goes out and she finds herself. She finds God. She eats. She feels like she wants to go try like new food and stuff. So she goes to Italy. She eats. She prays. She loves. She finds love in Bali. Like it's very, it's a very good movie. Um, and it's actually a book and it's based on a true story. So it is something that could happen. All right. So some of you could be in that kind of energy where things are, are kind of like something is in like telling you do this do this all right if that's the case do it you got nothing to lose nothing to lose and everything to gain all right so that's what i got for you aqua i'll see you in the next one bye y'all please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment <laughs>